Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So today we are having the news regarding NVIDIA AMD. As you all know, like NVIDIA is reportedly gearing up to launch another GPU. Yeah, you heard it right. They are planning to launch a six uh, G GeForce GTX lineup, and it's sixteen fifty. It's not sixteen fifty. It's sixteen thirty. Sorry, it's sixteen thirty. Yeah, GTX GeForce GTX sixteen thirty. So it won't come with ray tracing cores or things like that, but it will surely come with some other benefits. But it is going to replace 1050 Ti, which is like an entry level GT GTX card. So we don't know what about the performance will be. But as you can see, that the market is very bad as of now. And the uh, low end segment, there is like 6400, and it is basically there to compete with 6400. So let's see what the performance will be of 1630. But I don't think it will be very good compared to RTX lineup. And without ray tracing, of course. But uh, at least we are getting some GPUs in the low-end segment. Maybe it should be close to 300 bucks. Moving on, Navi 33, 32, and 31 has been chip shed, chip data has been leaked by 3D Center or dot org. And as you can see on the screen here, it comes with one GCD and up to four MCDs and six MCDs. And MCD is made on six nanometer, while GCD is made on five nanometer. Has been known it for a very long time. But uh, this makes us sure like the, this is not going to be what we expected like two GPU drives communicating at once. Maybe Nvidia, maybe AMD hasn't solved that cross connection issue, that SLI issue which they had previously where the system can't see two GPUs as a single GPU. So maybe it will come with next generation 8000 series. We don't know. But uh, this is very good. Like in that GCD, they will be increasing. Of course, the core count because it is said like it will the top of the end 7900 XT 7900 7900 XT and 7800 XT will come with six shader engines which goes up to 12288 cores which is like double almost 2.3 times that of 6900 XT so yeah they will get a huge performance boost that's for sure but it is not going to be a officially two GPUs in one but it is going to be one GPU and it is it should be said like Grimoire 55 is created like Navi 31 will come with a 384 bit bus and Navi 32 with 256 bit bus instead of the usual which has been printed on 3dcenter.org so yeah rejoice and moving on we have the official leak images for the 4090 Ti yeah you heard it right 4090 Ti has been leaked and it is officially called 40 series and as you can see on the screen here this is the not the retail packaging or things like that but it was posted on cheap health forum but it was taken down so it just makes sense like this is the official official images of the 4090 series and as you can see on the screen here the 40 series will come with no redesign of the 30 series as 30 series was the complete redesign of the chassis and it is coming with that VCP PCB with two blood style de with two intake fans for cooling of the chipset and as you can see on the screen here it comes with pretty big heatsink not just the heatsink like the cooling pad and things like that they are increased significantly because 40 series are going to be power hog of CPUs so they need to <laughs> increase it like the cooling pad and everything has been increased and on top of that we also have the outside brand dates outside band branding of this 40 series and it is just a solid block as of now but we don't know about the gpu what it is going to fit but yeah as you can see on the chassis here it is clearly mentioned like 4090 ti so yeah it is official kind of official like 4090 series so what do you think about this link images uh, sound of your thoughts in the comment section below what about navi 31 rx 7000 series and nvidia's new HTTX 10 1630 it's very confusing to remember seriously but yeah sort of your thoughts in the conversation below and for more tech news subscribe to the channel and i will meet you in the next one peace out